Hi everyone, this is what happened to me when I got Government Housing Part 107 and I just wanted to make this video to let all of you guys know that I'm continuing with the series and um, I took a little bit of a break which I didn't know I was going to take. Um, when I first started making the series what happened to me when I got Government Housing I um, intended to continue um, up until the the final court hearing to tell you guys what happened and then to keep going after that to um, to tell you about the consequences of the judgment and to tell you um, obviously what I chose to do after my application for compensation was refused. But when I stopped... Um, making the videos, I realized how emotionally exhausted I was. And when I was making the series, I didn't realize what a toll it took, you know, on me personally just to make it because, you know, sometimes some of my videos were only five minutes long and you would have thought, well, you know, it can't be that bad. Well, unfortunately it was that bad. And, um, yeah, so now that I've had a break, but I'm dying to, um, keep, telling you guys what happened and to share my story with you which is what I intend to do um, so basically what I wanted to say is that um, I'm going to continue telling you about the consequences of um, the refusal of the application for compensation but I'm also going to keep going so I can get to a point where I can tell you about my how my life is presently Okay, because um, the when this story started, I'm actually starting from 2015, and now we're all the way up to 2024. So you can see me smiling in um in this photo here, and this is my 2024 profile that um I'll be using for this year, and um the. <laughs> The other thing is that I need to do more photos and um, more videos for you guys and obviously you know I've got the evidence because that that's been photos that are evidence because those photos have been taken ages ago and I'm just like <coughs> posting them in my videos for you to see but in regards to showing you guys that <laughs> You know, showing you guys photos that can demonstrate things and showing you guys pictures of me at the moment. I have to keep doing more shots of myself so you can see how I am now. So these shots were taken indoors and um, I've also got this other shot showing me when I'm not smiling, which is this shot here. And hopefully you guys um, think I look okay in, in this shot as well. But... um. I'm taking some pictures indoors because I've had a few issues in my personal life and um, you know some of the other like activities and social media issues that I deal with um, personally um, like for example stuff that's not related to what happened to me when I got government housing because I'm on TikTok as well and I, I generally used TikTok for entertainment but I had some issues on there because of the the workings of that app and um, I'm also on Instagram so you guys can find me at at Sarah JM Taylor on TikTok and at Sarah JM Taylor on Instagram if you want to follow me on those um, and on top of the issues that I've having with like my creative life I also had um, an issue because the police took out an intervention order against me and that doesn't expire until um, I think it's late October this year. So that's like another 10 months and um, that will restrict my movements for, for a lot of reasons that I won't get into because um, I'm not going to make a video about that issue but I just wanted to let you guys know that that's going on in my life at the moment and um, in case anyone wants to know you know what's happening at the moment but no you know that that order was made against me it's not something that I made against someone and um, 
apart from telling you guys that it's like restricting my activities and my movements to a certain extent, I'm not going to acknowledge it or make, you know, any more of it. Unless, of course, you guys want to ask me about it, you know, in the comments and I'll do my best to um, answer you. So um, I've started working on um, ideas to work out a way to present, you know, my my story for you for the for the other side of um, the the court hearing because uh, consequences are important and the other thing is that I did tell you guys that I intended to tell you about um, the way I would deal with paths to justice and you know what I think of using the internet um, to get justice and also about other things that have been done to me because I have had some um, some other criminal offences, you know, <clears throat> committed offence me and uh, against me and not just by like, um, you know, residents or neighbours by, you know, supposed professionals. And it's quite, I mean, basically I'm at a stage in life where I think, well, you know, we need to say it. And the beauty of the situation is that social media is popular now it's accessible and you guys get the opportunity to hear my story so i think it's about time that i told you guys what was going on and hopefully it will benefit you all so if anyone wants to know what i'm doing feel free to ask me in the comments but otherwise um don't worry i'm going to keep going with the series and um you know, I hope you guys can catch up with all of my videos because you do need to watch all of them to understand um, the circumstances that I was in and why I was doing the things that I was doing and why I made the application. And when everyone gets to a point where they can do that, you know, then you can get up to part 107, which is this one. And our next video will be part 108. And um, I'll do my best to continue to tell my story to you in as clear a way as possible.